good evening dear students today we have come here to discuss certain things about control of microorganisms and in the studio i myself dr rakesh patel from rg shah science college and uh, with me i have a colleague professor rikin parik from arts commerce science college khambat we are going to discuss about the control of microorganisms with specific reference to the chemical agents that is how to control the organisms its multiplication and its propagation with the means of certain chemicals this is a very important topic from the view point that we take lots of medicines we use lots of uh, chemicals we use lots of substances either in the laboratory or at home in order to get rid of these organisms now let me make it very clear to you that for a layman it may seem that uh, whenever a reference to bacteria or a microorganism is made they are always harmful but it's not so very little percent of the lot is rather harmful and we call them as pathogenic so we are interested in controlling these kinds of organisms and much of our uh, research has been put into the field of controlling the organisms by one way or the other specifically the pathogens because they are harmful to us so we are going to discuss in detail the chemical methods to control the organisms here we are going to take into considerations those chemicals which we are using it in the laboratory and in the home but not for a personal use that is not as a medicine that we call them as a drugs or antibiotics those are also the chemicals but we are not going to discuss that aspect at present we are going to discuss about the routine chemicals the chemicals which are used for purposes other than the medicines okay before we start the topic let us understand certain definitions because these words will be used many times during our discussions so to begin with the first one we are going to study the definitions what do you mean by sterilization sterilization is a treatment or a process which either kills or removes all living cells of all types when i say all living cells of all types that includes the smallest one including viruses and those which are very resistant that is the spores so any living form any life form of any type is either killed or it is removed now the difference i would like to tell say for example a filtration method it removes the organisms while when we autoclave when we use physical methods like uh, heat then radiations these are the physical methods by which organisms are killed and there are certain methods by which we remove or separate the organisms from the object like filtration from a solution so that is what a sterilization means so when we say a product is sterile that means that it is safe no organisms of any kind is present in it we will see the different meanings of this is the literal meaning of sterilization the other meanings of the sterilization we will see at a later stages because in industries or at certain points these uh, definitions may have certain variations depending upon its aims and objective of the technique the second one is disinfection now disinfection is a treatment which is usually given to any substance or any material 
वेयर बाय द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स विल रिड्यूस आइदर ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट और ऑन द सरफेस बट दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट इट इज गोइंग टू किल द ऑर्गेनिजम्स इट इज रिड्यूसिंग द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड देयर बाय द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग एन इन्फेक्शन और प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग सिक इज लेस सो दिस इन्फेक्शन द वेरी कॉमन एग्जाम्पल इज से एट होम जरा आप घरे फिनाइल नाखी पोतू लगाई छे तो दैट एक्जाम्पल इज अ डिन्फेक्ट काइंड ऑफ अ डिस्इन्फेक्शन और अ डॉक्टर यूजिंग आल्कोहॉल स्वेब ऑन अवर फिंगर और ऑन अवर हेन्ड्स फॉर टेकिंग अप अ ब्लड सो देट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ डिस्इन्फेक्शन वेर बाय द नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर रिड्यूस्ड इन नंबर नेक्स्ट इज सैनिटेशन सैनिटेशन मीन्स वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द नंबर टू अ दैट एक्सटेंट और टू दैट लेवल वेर बाय द प्रोडक्ट और द मटीरियल इज कंसिडर टू बी ए सेफ फॉर द कंजम्पन दैट इज नोन एज अ सैनिटेशन सो वी से दैट द मटीरियल हैज बीन सैनिटाइज सो इट इज अ रिडक्शन और वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द नंबर इन सच अ वे दैट द प्रोडक्ट बिकम्स अ सेफ देन कम्स एंटीसेप्टिक इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ डिसइनफेक्टिंग एजेंट विच इज नॉर्मली यूज फॉर अवर बॉडी सो द एग्जाम्पल विच आई गेव यू अर्लियर दैट इज यूजिंग अ फिनाइल फॉर क्लीनिंग अप ऑफ आवर और स्वेबिंग और स्वेपिंग अप ऑफ आर फ्लोर You cannot call it as an antiseptic because it is used for a flow. However, when we used a alcohol swab for cleaning our fingertips or cleaning our veins, a surface of our skin, that is an antiseptic. There are lot many antiseptics available in the market. One of them is iodine solution also. Then we have a term which is known as a sidle, bacteria sidle or virus sidle. Sidle is basically a suffix which is added to the word at the end, which means anything which we are killing. So, whenever a um, uh, organism is killed or a material which kills the organism is known as bactericidal. It means it kills the bacteria. Next is static. It means. it is not killing the organism but it is inhibiting the growth of that particular organism say for example fungistatic agent it means that a compound or a chemical is able to inhibit the growth of the organism the basic difference between sidle and static is that kills the organism and it means that once the organism is killed it is not going to recover any more while in case of a static the organism is inhibited as far as that particular agent is present in or around that environment once that agent is removed the organism may recover and organism can again start multiplication so static is basically a temporary phase where where the organism stops reproducing or its metabolism is checked then next comes sepsis sepsis means a contamination this is a very common word which we use it in the laboratory it means that a contamination of microorganism so that is known as a sepsis sepsis may lead to uh, problems in the laboratory contamination in the uh, plates or in the media laboratory media or sometimes this it may also lead to kind of a skin infections then opposite of sepsis is a sepsis it means lack of bacterial contamination where there are no organisms in or around the vicinity we say that it is a uh, aseptic condition this kinds of conditions can be achieved by different ways <coughs> now before we go into the discussions of individual chemical agents let us discuss certain things about the microbial death now what do you mean by when i have told you in the beginning that a uh, definition of sterilization has different meanings at different places here we would like to discuss few variations in that definitions basically we are going to kill the organisms when we are using some chemicals we see to it that organisms are killed that is the most effective chemical agent 
that leads to the death of the organism. Now, what do you mean by death of the organism? Uh, like in human beings, when we say a human being is dead or an animal is dead, you already know what the death is. But in case of microorganisms, it has a various kinds of meanings. For example, the first one, it involves the permanent loss of reproducing capability, even under the optimum growth conditions. That is, even the base conditions are provided, all favorable environment is present, the organism is not able to reproduce. Though it may be living, but still it is not able to reproduce. That is also considered to be a, a kind of a death. Second is the organism is revi uh, alive, but it cannot be detected by certain procedures. That is, it is not able to be detected by the procedures like cultivation or in third case, it may also involve the loss of movement. The organism becomes a still. Now, when we see that these all things, we call it as a death of the organisms. But what are the conditions which influence the antimicrobial activity? Antimicrobial activity, when we say, it means those chemicals which are able to either inhibit or they are able to kill the organisms. What conditions will influence them or what are the parameters? What are the factors? Then <coughs> We should always remember that the entire microbial population is not killed immediately. Immediately means just in a one go or in a one moment, the population will not be dead. Instead, the death of the organism is taking place over a period of time. It takes certain time to kill those organisms. When we are talking this, you should always consider that we are not talking about, we are not mentioning or we are not concentrating on a single organism. We are talking about the population of microorganisms present in that environment or on that material. So, this death of the population over a certain period of time is always exponential. Now, what is that exponential? It is something which is similar to the growth phase which you have studied when you are studying the cultivation and the growth of organism. In this case, the bacteria normally die at a constant rate. If you see this in the graph, then <coughs> the graph is plotted logarithmically and this will always give you a very straight line. On the x-axis, it is a time 1, 2, 3, 4 in minutes and on the y-axis, it is the logarithm of number of microbial survivors. So, as you can see in the graph, <coughs> this decrease in the population over a period of time is a logarithmic. It is decreasing by 90 percent. One log decrease, it means 90 percent of the population is killed. In this way, if you consider, theoretically, one can never achieve a hundred percent sterilized conditions. That is, if you consider it as a logarithmic decrease, then there may be a 0.1 or 0.01 or 0.001 percent organisms present. Now, when it goes beyond decimal, it means that we consider it in a different way that one organism, you can understand what is meant by one organism surviving. It means one organism is still there. But when it is a point 0.1, it means that in a volume of 10, there will be one organism. When it is point 0.001, it means in a volume or in a unit of 100, there is a survival of one organism. In this way, theoretically speaking, <coughs> sorry, we never achieve a complete sterilization. And this is what the industrial units or in industrial fermentations is a very vital and is considered. So, in a industrial fermentations, the media as a such, because there we have to sterilize a million, uh, thousands of liters of media, you do not achieve a complete sterility. Economically also, it is not feasible because that will always lead to a huge consumption of electricity or a power and product produced will not be 
competitive uh, competitive as far as the cost of factors are concerned so this is how the rate of microbial death is defined and it is understood now what are the factors which affects the effectiveness of the antimicrobial agent now i would like to explain it in a different way in a sense that whenever we are taking about talking about antimicrobial agent in actual conditions in actual field the antimicrobial agent and the organism when they come in contact with each other the conditions will not be optimum there will be many many factors many variables which will play an important role some of them they have been listed here that includes population of the organism uh, naturally greater the load of the organisms the sterilization or the effectiveness of antimicrobial agent will be decreased these are both inversely proportional then the type of organisms we will see at a later stages the resistant patterns of different organisms because all organisms are not sensitive enough some of the organisms may take a lot time and while the others they are delicate enough and can be killed instantly then comes the concentration of antimicrobial agent to what extent we should use this antimicrobial agent should we use it in a concentrated form or should we use it in a dilute form because this is after all a economic concern if we are going to use it in a dilute form diluted form and still it is effective then well that agent is considered to be a cheaper one and if we are going to use it in a concentrated form the effect may be better but still it will not be very cost effective third factor is the duration of exposure how much time it takes for a destruction of the organisms it may range from few seconds to minutes then other physical factors like temperature of the prevailing environment